Now, there's this particular immediate reaction, you know, to an incident, to an attack, to something that happened to you. And you might not really take that reaction very serious. But I tell you what, in this part of the world, especially when you are working with people, you know, when your job involves you caring for people, healthcare assistant job, nursing jobs, you know, medical jobs, you know, anything involving healthcare in this part of the world, even teaching in the schools here, you know, there's this particular reaction that you would respond immediately to an action or something that has happened to you. And once you reacted in that manner, honestly, such a reaction is something that you wouldn't even consider to mean anything because it's happened immediately as an immediate response to something that somebody did to you. You know, you felt pain and you responded immediately. When you do such a thing in this part of the world, it could even land you behind. Yes. So in this very video, you are most welcome to my channel. Firstly, my name is Chi Nyere Ojike. I am a mom vlogger here in the UK. I make videos about, you know, basically I answer general questions about the UK. You know, so feel free to put down your questions in the comment section. So today in this very content, I will be sharing with you three cases or three situations whereby three different people lost their job. Yes, two of them are Nigerians and the other one is also British, white, pure white. And this incident, you know, it's not as if I was told, but it happened somewhere very familiar to me. And I was surprised it happened. So in the first case, it just is very fresh. Now, a young man was... You know, sometimes we do training at work, we sign a lot of papers without really understanding what we are signing or what we are getting into, you know. And here, whatever you sign your signature in, sorry, and here, whatever you put your signature on is definitely taken very serious. So often at times, many of us make videos on how you can move to UK, become a carer, get a nursing job, how you can get this job, study in the UK and be working. And sometimes we don't share about implications or do's and don'ts of, you know, becoming a healthcare assistant in this place, working as a nurse in this very place. You know, some of the things that you are not expected to do at work. I might be coming up with that video next. So meanwhile, the number one incident that happened, that is very fresh and it was shocking to even the person it happened to, to even myself. You know, because I never believed it. And it's such a sad situation because the young man involved likes to work. He likes working. Call him in the dreamland, he would wake up and come to work. Drop a shift, he would want to take up that shift. You know, so it, it happened that someone he was supporting is a vulnerable individual. You know, yes, he's autistic and um, little communication, you know. So, but this very person that he was supporting, that's the service user, he, is, he has this habit of kicking, biting, you know. So on this faithful afternoon, they were together, not just two of them, another carer was there, three of them in the lounge. So the person that this male carer in Nigeria was supporting, you know, usually they play, you play with them at times. The young man in his 30s, piam. He grabbed his feet so tight and the guy, the Kiera was struggling. I mean, the Nigerian was struggling to let go, you know. So when he finally let go, he had this crash. The guy actually pinched him badly, you know. The skin was injured. So what he did in reaction to that, you know, somebody who felt pain that you got hurt was to poke the guy, say you, you know. And they laughed over it. She, he never believed that that would cost him his job. So the third person, that's the witness, somebody that witnessed that incident, they discussed about it and all of them laughed, saying that, yeah, this service user is always like that, he's always pinching and kicking, which these are the regular attitude he is beat. Everyone knows that, you know. So the witness, after laughing and discussing with them, went and reported to the manager that the Nigerian, the carer, slapped the service user in response or in reaction to the injury he sustained, you know, from the service user. I tell you what, 
to cut a long story short, police was involved and an investigation started going on as a result of this thing you might consider simple occurrence, you know, basically you do not have to, you are not expected to have contact with these people. What, what I meant by contact, especially when they hurt you, when they pinch you, when they kick you, do not respond back, you know, do not touch them. You know, their skin is quite light. But luckily to this guy, when the police came, they checked the guy's skin, no mark and nothing. You know, assuming that he actually slapped him, just like the witness claimed. There was no redness. The skin was okay, you know. And God so kind, the guy had to resign automatically. What I meant by automatic resignation, you know here, when you resign, you give one month notice, you have to work for extra one month but automatic resignation means you resign, you pack and go. Nothing. That was an unplanned resignation. In his widest dream, he would never believe that he would resign from his job on that day. And he would be involved in police case on that very day. You know. So, but I thank God that the thing got settled so well. He didn't get to, you know, have his name in the criminal record. But one thing I must tell you about this kind of situation is this. Once you have problem in this country, a situation like this, honestly, it is difficult for you to get a job elsewhere. You can never get a job as a carer most places because before ever you get any job here, even if it is cleaning job, they have to carry what is called a CRB check, criminal investigation, to know if you have involved in police case and all what have you here. And so this is why you have to be careful taking up um, a health care assistant job, um, taking up a job as a doctor in this country, taking up a role as a nurse, senior carer, what have you, whatever job you are taking up in this country. When there is an incident like this, do not respond back. Inci um, rather, you make a report. Though there is nothing that will be done about this case, especially sorry, about the injury the guy sustained, they can only treat him and let him go. But if it is something very severe, you can open up a file, they might pay you damages. This is the only way they will solve. But having to like touch, they will judge against you. To be frank, if you go to court, the law will be against you because the person in question is vulnerable. Yes, he was even laughing. In fact, I have received a dirty slap at work by someone who is vulnerable. And when he slapped me, he was laughing. I didn't even report because I knew he didn't know what he was doing. So this is why if you're taking up a job in the prison, the mental health, be ready for it. The money is big, you know, because they pay you times three, they pay times three of the amounts they pay to people working in the normal care homes and other regular care homes, sorry, not normal, you know. So be ready to face all this attack from the service users, the prison inmates and whatever, you know. Then the second situation was somebody who came to work in Nigeria. He was, he was assigned one-to-one -to, -one to watch over a vulnerable person. What happened? They saw him snoring, not even <laughs> asleep. He was snoring, you know, in the broad daylight. And he was just there alone with this service user. And possibly because a lot of them, they do hustle for shifts, several shifts. In trust Nigerians, we never get tired, especially when we are new to this country. We want to work and work and work. But after about one year or two years, you will be begging yourself to relax because the work here doesn't finish. This is why I laugh at some people saying that people are angry over Tochi Extra, you know, sharing information about how people can move to UK, that the job will finish. Job never finishes in this country. They are looking for workers. I left the UK eight years ago. I am back again. I found something to do. Jobs are everywhere here, you know, unless you don't want to work. That means you won't see a job. So this guy got sacked immediately because he was found sleeping on duty. The third situation, the British lady, she was just like a desecrate to work. So there are a lot of things you don't do. Definitely, I'm coming up with that video. Don't at work as a healthcare assistant or a nurse. You know. All right. I just hope you avoid. The number one incident is the major one. Please avoid contact with these people when they do anything to you. Don't retaliate. You know, don't respond in anger. 
And I am sure this guy did not respond because I know him. He didn't respond in anger. But they will definitely believe what the witness has said. But thank God that after the investigation, the police proved them negative and we were happy that the guy resigned immediately. So that is it. So be careful how you treat these people, how you respond to them to avoid giving you a negative image, especially when you are looking for work here. Thank you so much for clicking to watch. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and keep coming back for more. Bye.